JC IDUFS programmer. Fast reading and writing speed. Stable performance. Free in one testing socket. Support BGA 153, BGA 254, and BGA 297 stop lock. Smart power supply adapts to UFS to X3X for X9 automatically. Identify NAND and read NAND information automatically. Faster, more stable, and intelligent. One connect device. First, let's take a look at the structure of UFS. Host of UFS programmer. UFS 3 in 1 reading and writing socket. The sockets include 153 NAN read and write, 254 NAN read and write, as well as 297 NAN read and write. The corresponding read and write area is shown on the back. Next is the 153 stop block of 11 multiplied by 13. 153 and 250 for stop blocks of 11.5 multiplied by 13. 297 stop block of 11.5 multiplied by 13 and the power cord of UFS programmer. Connect the power cord to programmer. Select the needed stop block. Here we choose the 153 and 250 for stop blocks of 11.5 multiplied by 13. Buckle the 3 in 1 read and write socket on the programmer. This is a 250 for NAND, so let's buckle the socket on the position of 245. Find the upward marking arrow of the stop block and buckle it into the socket. Align the NAND with one pin and put it in. Then connect the USB 3.0 data cable to the USB 3.0 interface on the computer. It is recommended to supply power to UFS power cord separately. After connecting, is shown as auto mode. Under auto mode, the programmer can identify whether the NAND is UFS 2X, 3X, or 4X automatically. Easily identify more than 90% of NANDs on the market, making operation easier. 2. Read NAND Info Open JC ID Repair Software on computer. Log in. Click UFS on the upper left corner. UFS reads NAND information automatically. After reading, the basic NAND information is displayed in the log area. The SYSCFT data of the NAND is shown in the action bar. 3. Backup data. Check the data to be backed up in the action bar. Click Backup. Select the location of the backed up file. Click Select File. UFS programmer starts backing up data. You can see that the regular reading speed can reach around 190 megabytes per second. The log area shows that the reading is completed and the file has been backed up. You can also click on the lower right corner to select the backup file format including XML and BIN. For erase data, check the data to be erased in the action bar. Click Erase in the lower right corner. The system begins to erase the ticked information. The log area shows that the process is completed and the data has been erased successfully. 5. Write the backed up data. Click Import. Select the file that was backed up earlier. Click Select File. Then type the file to be written in the action bar. Click Write. The system starts writing the backed up data. It can be seen that the regular writing speed can reach more than 350 megabytes per second. The log area shows that the backed up file is written successfully. 6. Repair GPT. Precautions. If writing data in small memory to a machine with large memory, just restore GPT or repair GPT is enough. For example, we can write the data of 128 into 256 512. It can be booted after repairing GPT. If writing data in large memory to a machine with small memory, it can't be booted because behind user data. 
there are still two partitions, flash and fall, and backup GPP. If writing the data of 256 or 512 into 128, it will exceed the limit. As a result, the latter partitions cannot be written so that the machine cannot be booted. Click Repair GPT. JC repairs GPT automatically. Users can also repair GPT manually. Wait for the log area to show that the LAN partition is repaired completely. One key to repair GPT completed.